Winning the competition, I mean, people say, uh, well, people said at the start of last year, can, can the Roosters win back to back? My answer was, why not? Um, now people say, can they win three in a row? My answer is, why not? Uh, I think the Roosters can do it. They can't be as good as last year with the loss of Cronk and Mitchell, but I think if you saw it in the World Club Challenge, their defence is going to take them a long way in big matches. I've got the Roosters beating Melbourne in the grand final, um, two wonderfully coached sides. Uh, again, Melbourne, I don't believe can be as good as they have been in previous seasons. They are in decline, but it's a very slow decline. It's not a rapid decline. I still think the Melbourne Storm's a powerhouse, so a Rooster Storm grand final. Oh, I've got a bit of a smoky this year. Uh, I think Parramatta are going to have a great year. Uh, Mitchell Moses, uh, Gutherson, they've got a really good spine. Their back three are incredible. I think with Sivo and Ferguson, uh, and they've got a bit of mobility in their pack. And with Campbell Gillard coming on board, uh, I expect them to have a really big year. So, a bit of a smoky. I think they'll be thereabouts, and I'll have them winning the comp. You know what? I'm going. I'm going to get Chooks three in a row. I think they've, they've broken through that barrier, the back-to-back. Now they're going to win seven in a row. I like Parramatta to have a particularly good season, but we saw this week that um, the Roosters are still the benchmark of the competition, even though they've lost Mitchell, they've lost Cooper Cronk. It still seems obvious that whoever wins this comp, if it's not the Roosters, they're going to have to go through the Roosters at the back end of the season. But Parramatta, if they're mentally strong enough, uh, if, if they can string together some wins and, and, and be consistent, they have got a hell of a team. If Regan Campbell Gillard's got his head screwed on and, and it seemed that things went pretty sour at Penrith and he wasn't anywhere near his best, he was coming in off the bench. But if he if he is back to the Regan Campbell Gillard that was rep football worthy a few years ago, um, that that's an enormous uh, that, that that is an enormous boost. And that's the one area where Parramatta there might be some doubts. Do they have enough up front? They've got all the bases covered. They've got a good half, great halves combo, albeit young. Clint Gutherson at the back, he had the most try assists of any uh, fullback uh, in the NRL. Sevo and Ferguson, great back row. If the front row stands up with Junior Paulo and Campbell Gillard, they got a hell of a chance. I think the Canberra Raiders, um, I always look at sides who just lose in big games, especially grand finals, and they've added to their football side with Williams coming in. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the Canberra Raiders, after the hurt of last year, they could have won that game at a pinch. I think they'll, uh, I think they'll be hurting that much that they'll win this year. I've got the Roosters winning the comp in 2020, so back to back to back. Um, just a really professionally run front office. Uh, Nick Politis has been in the game for so long. He's clearly the best chairman in the game, and around him, uh, some astute administrators. Arguably the best coach in the NRL and Trent Robinson and between the two of them they've just got this capacity to build a stellar list year after year and at the end of the day players win premierships and have assembled a strong team again this year so for me I think it's the Roosters to lose.